Hey what's up guys, this is the Motion Square, and welcome to my brand new After Effect tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you, how to create Logo Revel FX intro, let's see what we will create today. Before I start this tutorial, you not subscribed yet, then first subscribe now, and get more tutorial every week. Before I opening After Effect, go to the link description, and download this free plugin by Video Copilot, install After Effect all version. Open After Effect application, and create a new composition, I would like to name this composition Logo FX. I am same size 1920 to 1080p use here, this time I am using frame rate use 23.976 frame per second choose, so that it can help to film look and time duration 10 second enough for this intro comp. Now create a new solid, let's call it background. I am using here dark red color. It is a little bit brighter than black color. You are free to choose any background color you want. Cool. Let's make particle fast. Press Ctrl plus D to make duplicate for this background layer. Let's rename this layer, particle. Now select your particle layer and go to Effect and Presets tab. Search Plugin CC Particle System 2. It's free and in real a plugin so don't download from anywhere. And go to Few Frame Forward so you see the particle. Place Center Pi to like here. Particle will be expanding from this corner. Now open physics and change animation to direction. Change velocity value to 0.5. And change gravity to 0 value. Now open producer, and change to radius to x100, as well as change radius y to 100 also. Perfect now. Open particle, and change particle type to faded sphere. Now particle huge in size, so change the birth size to 0.1 and depth size to 0.1 as well. Let's change the birth size only to. Perfect. Your particle look like this, but I am not happy with color of particle. They look different color. So I am also change the birth color, some orange color, so look like fire particle. Ram preview this, see if you are happy with it. Perfect this looks good to me. Let's move to the next step. I am already adding a logo in my project panel. You can choose any logo and text. Then place it of all layer into timeline. This is big too, so I am reduce scale something adjust like this. Press S key from your keyboard for fine scale option. Now I am select logo and right click and choose pre comp option and pre compose it. I am name this comp logo and make a sure to select this move all attributes option and hit enter. Nice. Now, go to the layer, and select Auto Trace. This option create a mask around of your logo or text. So that create a animation, and same setting you use and select checkbox for preview. 
you can see the whole logo arc create a mask and hit OK. You can turn off your mask visibility from click toggle switch icon. Now go to the effect and presets tab and search the Saber plugin. We just install it, I will give download link in description section and it's apply on your logo cap layer. Now open this customize core, and select core type to the mask. Now the effect on your logo mask. Click on the presets, and change the presets to arc reactor. This look good to me. Now I am going to animate this, using an offset. You can see how to look when increase and decrease value of N offsets. I am here 0% offset value, and go to the first frame, and add a keyframe to click this stopwatch icon and and go to the few frame forwarded and change the N offsets value to 50 persons. Your animation look like this. Cool. Now open render setting. And go to the compensating setting and change to transparent option. It will appear on the background layer. Cool. You can always change your color of presets, by clicking here and choose any color you want. I am keep this nice orange color, so it will be a look same as fire particles. Now make a duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl plus D key on your keyboard. I am going to change mask evolution 180 degree so that it will be cover of my entire logo perfect let's change it color as well as i am using blue color of this but you are free to choose any color as you want sorry first i forget to choose presets kryptonite then after you select your color Perfect, but I can't see the details of logo, let's fix it now. Open the distortion, go to core distortion, I am changing this amount to 7, half if now. Also change to core 1 and now you can see the details of logo. You can adjust the setting as your project type, I am show to how to adjust and fix this. Now duplicate this layer. Select the top layer and delete all effect and then see your original logo go to the effect and presets and search for the venetian blinds apply on this logo layer now you can use this transition this to revel of logo you can see this transition effect it's look good Now here I am add direction angle to 45 degree. It's my favorite and now I am adding a keyframe for animation this transition. Reduce the width size to 10 and time to animate this transition. So increase transition effect to 100% and set to few frame and add a keyframe. Now go to forward few frame and down transition completes to 0% animation is complete you can see your logo full now select the bottom layer and go to the 2 second as well as and add a keyframe on the core size 
do the same as bottom layer, as well. Keyframe on the core size switch back to the 3 second. and change the core size to zero. Do the same thing of top layer as well as So now if you play this animation, it will look like this. At the time of logo revels. Both step player are disappears. Cool. Ram preview this and see if you are happy with it fantastic. This look good to me. Now select the top 3 layer, and press U to open all keyframe add this layer. Now select all keyframe and right click on it. Go to the keyframe assistant and select easy ease them. Another option you can press F9 for easy ease keyframe. This is shortcut key. Let's add a zoom out effect now, again select 3 layer and pre-compose it. Let's call it Logo Animation FX. And then hit OK. Go to the 3 second and then add keyframe for rotation and scale. Go to the first frame and change the scale value to 250. And also rotation value to minus 45 degree. Fantastic! Select all keyframe and easy ease them. This logo too big so I want zoom out some. So now I am decrease the scale value something like this. Cool. Now the final step. Now the add film bar to effect. Create a new solid. I am calling it film. Make a sure to color black and hit OK. Now go to the effect and presets and search for the CC JAWS effects. Apply and throw the film layer and change it height to 0%. Change the completion to 80%. My background color also deep black so is not swing perfect. I am change background color to deep brown color. It's now showing film effect perfect. Now animation is complete and see you to next tutorial. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thanks for watching.